Hello students, today's our topic uh, is crystal defect. So we will discuss what are the crystal defects and what are the different type of crystal defects we have in our syllabus. So let me start what are crystal defects first of all. Any imperfection in a crystal is called a crystal defect. If there is an imperfection in a crystalline solid, this is called crystal defects. Actually, crystal defects are of two types, point defect and line defect. So, if a crystal defect exists at a particular lattice point, let's suppose this is a crystal, this is a crystal, okay. If a particle is missing from its uh, lattice point, then it will be a point defect. If you find a complete row of the particle is missing or a, an extra uh, row of the particle exists at the lattice side, then it will be a line defect. You can see here, uh, this is a crystal and you can see one of the row of particle is completely missing from uh, this solid, crystalline solid. So this causes a line defect here. The point defects are of three types. We can categorize the point, point defects in three different categories. These are stoichiometric, non-stoichiometric and impurity defect. We will discuss uh, all one by one. So first of all, we are taking stoichiometric. Stoichiometric uh, defects are those defects due to which the cation and ion ratio of a crystal do not disturb. Okay, if due to defect the ratio remains same, it's a cation and ion ratio, electric neutrality is maintained, cation and ion ratio is same and electric neutrality is maintained, then it is called a stoichiometric defect. So, in stoichiometric defects, cations and anions remain same means the ratio between them remains same. Let me take uh, first of all uh, uh, stoichiometric defect. Stoichiometric defect can be we can see interstitial, fractal, and short gain. Before going further, you should keep in mind vacancy and interstitial defects are shown by known ionic solids. Known ionic solids. However, Frankel and Schottky defects are shown by ionic solids. They are shown by solids, ionic solids. So, it means uh, uh, like uh, graphite, like uh, diamond, like iodine, okay. They are known ionic solids in which ions do not exist. These solids can show vacancy and interstitial defect and the solids which contain ions like sodium chloride, like sodium sulfate, like uh, uh, potassium sulfate, calcium fluoride, these uh, will show Frankel and Schottky defect. So let's see if uh, uh, ions does not exist in a solid, it means the ratio of cation do not, do not disturb. Means if they don't have ions, so there is no disturbance of any ions, ion ratio, ionic ratio. We can categorize, uh, we can see, uh, we can define the vacancy defect as if one or more particle is missing from its lattice point, then it will be vacancy defect like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can see one particle is missing uh, from its lattice points, this particle. Okay. This is a vacancy. This is what? A vacancy. This is vacancy, which is created by vacancy defect. So they are shown by no ionic solid. So due to this vacancy, cation and ion ratio remains same. Means they don't have cation and ion, so ratio do not disturb. So there is no mean of ratio and here. Interstitial defect. What are interstitial defect? If one of the particle, one or more particles uh, exist in the lattice side. Let's see, it is an ionic solid, it is a crystalline solid, and in this crystalline solid, an extra particle is present at the lattice point. 
at the interstitial point. Interstitial means the site of interstitial means the space between the particles. Okay, this is an interstitial site. So here an extra particle is present, which is not the particle of crystal lattice, and this defect is interstitial defect. Okay, both the defects are shown by known ionic solids like uh, graphite. You can say. If I do not have ions like diamond, okay, any solid which do not contain ions can show we can see an interstitial defect. We can see an interstitial defect. Both the defects are arise due to due to uh, quick cooling of the crystal. If you are cooling a particular crystal very quickly, then it will show interstitial defect. Or vacancy defect. Now we will talk about Chris, uh, Frankel and Schottky defect. What are Frankel and Schottky defect? They are shown by the ionic solids. First of all, keep in mind ionic solids will show ionic solid like sodium chloride uh, will show these defects. Okay, let's see. Frankel defects are those defects in which a cation is moved to a interstitial site. A cation, when a cation is moved to an interstitial site, the defect is called Frankel defect. Let's see. Uh, these are shown by ionic crystals. So this is one. It's two dimensional, or it is not three dimensional. So one of the cation let's see this cation is moved to an interstitial site is moved to an interstitial site okay it is moved here so you can say this is the combination of a vacancy and interstitial defect both because there is a vacancy cationic vacancy and there is an interstitial site where cation. Here cation 9 ratio do not disturb because the ratio do not disturb because same cation is moved from its lattice point to an interstitial site. Okay. Now short key defect. What are short key defect? Short key defect arised when equal number of formula units are missing from the lattice sites. If equal number of formula units are missing from lattice sites then the defect is called short key defect. Let me discuss what are short key defect. If equal number of equal number of formula units are missing from the lattice sites, so that uh, uh, for short key defect, what we have to do, we have to do. Uh, missing from the lattice points. Equal number of formula units, uh, suppose this is sodium chloride crystal, NaCl. So one is N and another one is Cl. So what happened here? Now uh, cation and anion. What is the number of sodium ions in one formula unit? One. And number of uh, chloride ions in one formula unit? One. So one cation and one anion are missing from the lattice points. So this is what? short key defects so it is purely a vacancy defect short key defect is purely a vacancy defect why we are calling it a vacancy because uh, the cation and ions eliminate from the solid creating vacancy vacancy so these are vacancy which are represented by uh, red circles. So I hope you understood uh, what are short key defect. The defects in which equal number of formula units are missing from their lattice points, therefore 